Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for nitric acid plus magnesium. That's HNO3 plus Mg. And we should note that our nitric acid here, this is concentrated. That's why we end up with these particular products. If it was dilute, be a little bit different. To balance a net ionic equation, we first have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I've already done that here just to make things go a little bit quicker. Next, we would write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid, so that's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissociate into its ions. We have solid magnesium. Nitrates are very soluble, so magnesium nitrate, that's going to be soluble, break apart into its ions. NO2 is a gas, and this probably would give off heat. This could be a gas or a liquid. Let's just call it a liquid here. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So with this particular net ionic equation, I have these four nitrate ions here. I have two nitrate ions here. So what I can do is I can cancel out the two. And I'll make this four, subtract two from that. This will become two. Everything else is unique. So this is our net ionic equation for HNO3 plus Mg, this concentrated nitric acid. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nitric acid and magnesium metal here. You'll note that charge is the same on both sides. We have four plus and then the two times one minus. So this whole side here is two plus, and we've got the two plus here on the magnesium. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they'll also be balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HNO3 plus Mg. Thanks for watching.